Hey guys, Terry here. Um, as promised, I am going to start working on my kit from uh, Let's Make Art. Um, I got my paint brushes. I have my palette. Um, I have water, and I have my paint, and then I have the um, instructions, and I have the four that came in September's month for painting. So I've got the hydrangea, the bicycle, the wall, and the kitty cat. So the first one I'm going to start with is the hydrangea. And my goal is not to show you how to do it because um, those videos are out there on YouTube. But I just want to show you what's possible. So I think what I'm going to do is take pictures along the way and kind of give some tips. But um, the gal, Sarah Cray, who does the videos, um, is just amazing. I mean, she tells you everything about how to work all the equipment. So um, this is just going to be something to show you, to introduce you to the kit and show you why I think it's fun. So um, I will go along the way here and just let you know how it's coming and then put put it all together as a as a video tell you what I think of it so here goes nothing all right so um, for week one it says hydrangeas have always intimidated me because there's so many petals it can be overwhelming but in this project we break it down step by step and trust me you can do this just stick with it and have fun so what I'm gonna do is um, watch her beginning video on this she's got the instructions on here of um, what you have to do and then I'm going to watch some of her video and then I'll get started and show you how it goes. Okay, I'm following along on the video and um, there's six paints that are provided in the kit and for the hydrangea she says to get out the emerald green, the fuchsia, the violet, and the azure blue. So, so far I could do that. <laughs> So she didn't really specify how much paint to get out of each one. She just explained what colors we're using. And um, one thing I know she said in the beginner, the beginner series, the basics that you watch before you start, um, she talks about how these paints can dry in your palette. So I'm just going to put a bunch of ink out, paint. I guess it's paint watercolor paints and I just bought a cheapy palette um, I had bought this palette with some paints before um, she's got a palette that she recommends that's a ceramic tray and I have that on order that didn't come in my kit so I wish that was something I had ordered um, earlier but live and learn so now I'm going to go watch some more of the video and see what we do with these paints. With watercolor, you want to make sure that you're using the water as if it's a paint color itself. That's how moist you want your brush to be. That's how much you want to be dipping your paint brush. If you can't look at it, it's only a way to clean your brushes. So, I painted, I decided to paint these because I went on a figure on the anniversary trip.
I'm not kidding, across the street, like along the street, I dreamed of the wild man. And on either side of all of the roads are these huge. Okay, she makes it look easy and she goes pretty quickly. <laughs> um, it's quite a feat to figure out how much water um, and how much paint and when to re wet your brush and just learning how to hold the brush and it's pretty nerve wracking. She makes it look very easy. I am learning that you put it down and you don't like it right away, but then you let it dry and come back to it, and it is amazing. The uh, And she gives you all kinds of tips, like filling in some of the white place, white spaces later. I think for each thing that you paint, she's got tips on things to keep in mind. But I found that the video was going really quickly. And I just decided to paint at my own pace and play the video back. Um, I mean, this is my first time. And uh, it was fun. She has someone in the video painting along with her. So she kind of gives tips on what they were doing. and um, I just don't know how much paint to pick up. And... She gives tips. I think it's a matter of um, playing and practicing and learning what to make this brush do. She gives really good tips. Um, I like that they give you two pieces of paper for each project. I also ordered some more paper. But um, her basic videos are good to watch because it kind of shows you like there I just dropped in color and then you let the paint do its thing so it's interesting she says it's paper and paint you can throw it away if you're not happy with it but just have fun while you're doing it um, hers had more like this flower was lighter and this flower was darker more contrasting um, and I haven't even attempted the leaves yet, but I'm liking how it's turning out. It's just, it is quite the process of being fearful of it. And she says to just try it and see what you can make it do. And, um, but she, yeah, she gives you the courage to do it. I don't like that spot up there. Um, she says to come, let it dry, come back to it later, and there'll be things that you don't even see anymore. So, I think it's pretty cool. I'll do the leaves here in a minute. It's quite a process. She um, gives a lot of tips of stuff that she remembers from her art teachers telling her. So, I think it's fun. I think it's going to look like a good good painting. Pretty good first attempt. So, I'll uh, come back when I've got the, more of the leaves done. Okay, here's the final painting. I think I don't have the um, contrast that she has between the two of them. I think my paint's blurred all together. I think there was more fuchsia I was supposed to use in one of them. Uh, the leaves are drying. I'm happy with it. I mean, first time out of the first time painting. So, I'm happy with it. There's a lot to learn. How much water, how much paint, um, how much time to sit and futz with it. But, um, it was a lot of fun. So, I'll keep improving with each one. And, uh, I think it's a new fun activity. Thanks, guys.